Today we're going to do a video review on uh, what I judge as the very best Media Center wireless keyboard with touchpad. Yes, that is a mouthful, and this little guy for uh, under 40 bucks does the job um, that pretty much everything else that I've tried has not been able to do. I've tried larger keyboards, I've tried wireless keyboards and wireless mice, and I've even gone to the point where I wanted something really small and had an Android phone with a, uh, a server that runs on the computer side for you to use the touchpad on the phone as your keyboard and mouse. The problem is, is when you've got a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse separate, your mousing surface has to be pretty good. Um, laser mice and uh, optical mice are a little bit versatile on the surface itself. A lot more than an old older style ball mouse, but if you're going to be, you know, hanging out on the couch, trying to flip through some shows or some movies or music, and the surface that you're trying to mate that mouse with isn't really that good, you're not going to have too good a luck. I found this guy once they released, and uh, to my surprise, I mean, this thing is probably the best 40 bucks I've ever spent on a computer peripheral. You've got a full keyboard, and it's not really small. You know, it's, it's I'd say it's about the size of, say, a 13-inch laptop keyboard, the set of keys here. The touchpad itself, I've got, I'd say, average size hands, not small, not, not overly large. The touchpad is a good size. You've got a nice feel to the buttons when you click them. You also have uh, integrated volume controls right at the top, which is going to be a lot easier than trying to have a, to go down to the bottom right of the taskbar and you know adjust your volume that way. And you've also got function keys, very very similar again to like a laptop keyboard. Hold function down, and you can go through scroll lock, print screen, pause, you know, home page up, page down, and now. The uh, way this guy is set up is you've got a very small Bluetooth receiver that plugs into any USB port on the computer. Um, as far as you know, the keys, you've got your front keys here. The only other thing you have on the top is going to be your on-off switch. Red, of course, meaning off. Green, of course, meaning on. And what it takes as far as batteries, just standard double A's I'll show you guys takes two double A's, it comes with it in the package. And uh, you've got your label on the back, Logitech K400. Um, I really can't say enough good things about this keyboard. Um, I've had it for a few months now, and I mean, it gets banged around and it's pretty durable. None of the plastic's cracked, I've had it fall off of you know the couch a few times onto the hardwood floor, no issues. Still works. Very, very durable. Um, Logitech has always been really good about the stuff that they make, and I've run into their products for years and years. Um, and for a company that's known for their mices and keyboards, they even make a hell of a speaker set, too. Um, but yeah, if you guys are looking for a really good multimedia keyboard, especially with uh, you know the frequency and the popularity growing, with uh, home media centers and home media servers, this is the guy to go with. Hopeless uh, helped you guys out in your choice. Um, usually retail price around 40 bucks for these. Sometimes you can find them a little less if you catch one on a sale. And just let me know if you got any questions, and I'd be glad to help you guys out. Um, also to note, it's not just Windows and Mac compatible. I actually run... Uh, these same exact keyboards on the Raspberry Pi and no drivers needed no hacking needed whatsoever on the software plug it into one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi and you kill two birds with one stone you get your keyboard mouse you still get your spare USB port so you can hook up a thumb drive or anything of that sort have a nice day